representing 200 million people that's down there in Brazil. Being here in the sand, it was so good. The moves we do and the positions we get in are pretty yoga, kind of gymnast moves, so. <laughs> so, so happy to finally have the rainbow again. 100 out 100 is when you see the rider get the run that they want and a smile on their face. I didn't choose my ride music. Why not? What's going on? I, I didn't know you could choose. Um, <laughs> Hello everyone, my name's Ian Leggett and you're watching Squiggly Bike TV. Now today, we're at the 2022 UCI Urban Cycling World Championships in the gloriously sunny Abu Dhabi. Now, this is a bit of a unique event. It comprises of three different cycling world championships. BMX Freestyle Park, BMX Freestyle Flatland, and finally, Trials. Let's go find out a little more about them. This is BMX Freestyle Flatland. So imagine parkour combined with breakdancing, but on a bike. That's Freestyle Flatland. The riders have nothing but this smooth playing surface, their own BMX bike to spin and style their way to a truly unique and mesmerizing medal-worthy routine. Now this is a truly unique event, more rap battle than road race, with every rider getting two to three minutes to showcase the best of their artistic and athletic ability to impress the judges. Come to Abu Dhabi, they said. It will be hot, they said. So this is what makes a good flatland score. The judges are looking for flow, artistry and a really good nailed down combination of tricks. But as well as raw talent and pure creativity, they're also looking for control, balance and stability on both the bike and the body. Right, who am I joined by right now? My name is Zachary Alexander Yankish, AKA Catfish. Flatland is the most difficult discipline in our sport. It's uh, anybody that has ever wanted to ride BMX, if you want to do backflips, you have to learn Flatland tricks first. With Flatland, it's more an individual art where you can get a little bit more creative, you can think outside of the box. I kind of describe it as, uh, if you've never seen it before, it's almost like bicycle ballet or ice skating, where they have these routines down, they've, they've been practicing these for so long. I like to call it art. It's basically art in motion when you're watching Flatland, and it's, uh, it's, it's fun, the creative side's awesome. Now, when ordinary cyclists see obstacles, BMX freestylers, they see opportunities. They fly superhero high heights off ramps like these. They ride on walls. They ride on cheese graters, all to flip the script on what seems possible and achievable on a bike. This is the sport of BMX Freestyle Park. Now in this sport, to impress the judges, you have to get the little things perfect. From how far you extend your arms and the look mom no hands kind of tricks, to how well you stick each and every one of those landings. It makes for some of the most compelling and exhilarating viewing in the world of cycling. It was so amazing to have my flag on my chest and like representing 200 million people that's down there in Brazil, so. Being here in the sun, it was so good. So, uh, Carl, you're gonna give me a tour of what's involved in a, in a BMX park. Take the mic. All right, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, nice to meet you. This is a BMX park for BMX freestyle. It can be rideable for skates and rollerblades as well, but these ramps are really big. Without the bike, how do you get up it? Is just it you just, you just launch it? All right, here we go, here we go. Natural. Natural. I mean, 
it such a compelling sport to watch? It's like nothing in the world of cycling. It, what, what makes it so exhilarating? I mean, what is so crazy about it is just how high they're going, their air awareness to be able to do the different tricks that they're doing, the diversity in the riders and how they're gonna utilize the course and the creativity that you get to see come out is amazing. It is going to be absolutely wild just to be able to see everything that happens with your own eyes. Cause a lot of you can see things on TV and the different things, but there is nothing like experiencing it in person. What about next year? How pumped are you? I'm well excited. I mean, the fact that if the capital of Scotland for me is actually close at my hometown, being from Newcastle, so so close to home, it's going to be the first time my family come and watch me at an event of that that size. I literally saw the poster and I was like, oh my god, because it's at home. Like my mates can come, like my family can come. It'll be great. All right, who am I joined by? Uh, Ryan Henderson. Who are you riding for this? I'm representing Ireland. We're basically doing gymnastics on a bike, so. People are like, who haven't seen BMX, they're just blown away at the stuff that we're doing that they didn't even think was possible on a kid's bike. <laughs> you're calling it a kid's bike, is that what it is? That's what we get all the time back home. <laughs> like anyone that asks me, like, oh, you ride BMX, is that not like a kid's bike? It's like a Playmobil, mate. You know? Exactly. <laughs> time for me to get my dream interview. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Do you think you would be a good BMX freestyle cyclist? Oh, what about, what about, what about Freestyle Park? I bet you could do a loop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Are you excited about coming possibly to Scotland next year? See, this is the responses we wanted here. Now, who is this fine fellow here? Can you play us a song? <laughs> Now trials. This is a sport where riders hop, bop and jump over purpose-built obstacles just like this one to test the extremes of bike handling and bike ability. So riders, they have to follow a set of arrows, which just look just like this. The concept is really simple. Cross through the gates clean, which means no feet or parts of your bike other than the tires touching the ground. Now, the sections sometimes look pretty extraordinary, just like this kind of water feature one that Abu Dhabi has. And I cannot wait to see what Kelburo Park looks like next year at the 2023 UCI Cycling World Championships. What makes trials such a, a fun and unique sport to watch? Because it's a different sport, I think. I like it a lot. It's super fun, so yeah. Oh, you just got to see the moves that we're pulling out. We're doing stuff to front. We're doing, you know, these techie, techie lines on real sharp points. Like, there's, there's so much excitement. Well, with the newly crowned women's elite champion fresh off the podium, how does it feel to have the rainbow jersey on for a fifth time? It's amazing. I was working so much for this jersey, and now I'm so, so happy to finally have the rainbow again. I think trials for the spectators is really like special because most of them, they don't know it, and it's just an amazing sport. You have to come and watch, and then you will know why we love trials. An absolutely stunning sunset here in Abu Dhabi tonight. Now, it, it just had me thinking, we, we may not have the, the kind of dusky, sandy, Star Wars-esque sunsets in Scotland, but I can guarantee that Kelungo Park next year will be as beautiful, as scenic, and as jaw-dropping as this. things that they can do with the bikes, you know, jumping, and, and it's crazy, like, it's so, so unbelievable when you see it live than in the videos. Yeah, all right, come on Spain, come on Spain. Hey, hey España! So who am I here with today? I'm Doris Whitman. My son is riding right now. As a complete novice to the sport, you said you like the section, so, so what makes you like a certain section? The obstacles are difficult, still difficult, even they're not too high. I'm always worried as mom 
that they fall down, break. But usually nothing happens. And if you see what they are doing, you really can feel how difficult it must be. So I've been Ian Leggett and this has been Squiggly Bike TV. It's been an unbelievable event here in Abu Dhabi and you can catch all three of these world championships next year in Glasgow in Kelvin Grove Park. And we hope to see you there.